Can I go above water? Oh, oh, my God. This is definitely an upgrade. This jump jet's definitely an upgrade. Holy shit. <laughs> Goodbye, world. It was nice knowing you. I don't need you anymore. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is MBR. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Experimental. In this episode, I was gonna check out the exosuit. We uh, we played around with it a little bit in um, one of the previous episodes, but I never actually got to go in depth with it or really take um, a closer look at it. So I figured I might as well just go and uh, check it out. So there it is in the ground. Hopefully it'll be above ground when it actually spawns. And uh, we're gonna check out all the upgrades. There was a recent upgrade to the exosuit where you can actually do a, uh, a little grappling hook, which I wanted to, that's the main reason actually I wanted to check it out. So I'm gonna go inside and I went ahead and I built a moon pool because you can actually upgrade your exosuit in the moon pool. I had no idea about that. For some reason I thought it was just for the Seamoth, but it's not. Oh, and I forgot to actually put all this stuff in, in upgrades. I'm a, I'm a big dummy. All right, so we put that there, nothing docked. Where'd it, where'd it go? Exosuit? It's a mystery. These guys stole it, I bet. Spawn some solar panels. Oh, we, we also forgot to uh, check out what the solar panels looked like since the update of the machinery. It's a, it's a bit different now, I think. I'm gonna dig out a little bit of a hole so we can actually get in there. It's the exosuit, it's not actually implemented in the game yet. Um, it's just an experimental mode, which you can just mess around with it, but it's not, it's not super stable. Like it likes to do its own thing. It likes to not work properly, so. Um, hopefully now I can get inside and have it not disappear on me. Better not run away from me, Exosuit. I need you for this whole video. All right, so in here, it says Seamoth upgrade modules, but it includes the Exosuit ones, which is kind of interesting. Um, right now you have the drill arm, so you can find more resources. Propulsion cannon, the Exosuit jump jet upgrade. Probably get that. A thermal reactor recharges power cells in hot areas. That's pretty cool. And then the grappling arm, the one that I was trying to get to anyways, because that sounds the most fun. I'm going to build that one first. And um, I don't know what else I should actually do. Maybe I, I think I might have to do that. Well, I'm in a creative mode, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I will go to the, what should I do? Jump upgrade. I think I get four slots. So let me think about, I don't need that one. Um, Let's just do propulsion cannon. Why not? Why not? Okay. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to see where you're supposed to put the upgrades in on this thing. But you like that? You like how I said butt while I looked at his butt? All right. Well, I didn't either. Okay, get inside. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bye-bye. It was nice having a base for a while. Holy crap. Where am I? I got launched so hard. Still going. We're going to the end of the world, guys. Wait, we don't deserve to live. Holy shit. Holy sh... What is happening? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna move it. I'm not gonna touch a thing. My, my exosuit has a mind of its own right now. What is going on? Am I going off the edge of the world? I'm off the edge of the world. Goodbye. It's, yep. This is how it ends. <laughs> oh God. Well, that was very unexpected. How far down can this go? Holy shit. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, well, once I hit 2000, I think that's as far, and I've been to 1600. I went, no, no, I went to 1700, I think for the lost river. I am going at such a high velocity. This is this is terrifying. I wonder why it did that. It sounds like I'm still like on solid ground, but I'm obviously not on solid ground. And I've broken my personal record. This is the farthest I've ever been. I don't think there's any coming back from this, guys. I don't think I can I don't think I can actually live through this. I wonder how far down I can go. This will be my first experiment in experimental mode of this episode. Seeing how far down I can go. Holy shit. It's starting to get dark. I'm not supposed to be here, am I? Oh no. Oh. 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 Huh? I can't tell if I see stuff. Where's the light on this thing? I, th I think there's, oh shit. <gasps> No, 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 come back. 
I don't want to be out here alone. No, no, no. Please come back. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Ha, ha. Oh, this is tough. This is my worst fear. Oh, okay. Well, ah, just into the, into the abyss. Trying to follow my exosuit. Going straight down. There's terrible music going on. How far down can you go? Is there any limit to this shit? I might have to just, uh, spawn a new one. I'm just gonna spawn a new one. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Please just... <sighs> oh, that, that still freaks me out. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we're falling. There we go. I wonder how I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens when I hit 10,000 meters. I'm really curious as to what happens. Wait, what is that? Is that my own feet? Is that my own feet? What is that? Oh, it's the other exosuit. I've landed on top of it. I've reached it. Hello, exosuit. Hello, friend. At least I have a friend down here. All right. Well, I think it's safe to say that it just keeps on going. Uh, I've reached 10,000 meters, guys. It just keeps on going. Well, that was a journey and a half. Something I never want to have happen again. All right, so anyways, now that that little side trip is over, um, why is that music playing? Ah, screw it. Uh, we got a little up upgrade panel on the side here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I'm gonna put in all of my, I got a lot of floaters for some reason. I don't know why. I think that, I, well, actually, I think that's what you spawn within creative mode for whatever reason. So I'm gonna put in the jump jet upgrade, propulsion cannon, the grappling arm, and the whole reinforcement, even though I don't need it. Um, just lack of options because I, I, there's nothing really interesting. Wait, can I go above water? Oh, oh, my God. This is definitely an upgrade. This jump jet's definitely an upgrade. Holy shit. <laughs> Goodbye, world. It was nice knowing you. I don't need you anymore. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, you can just keep on going up. That's done. This. This exosuit's amazing. You don't need anything else in this in this world. Well, here's here's the entire landscape, I guess. Wait, is there no skybox in the experimental mode? Oh my god! I look. It looks like I'm just tossing a ball back and forth in my hands. This is amazing. Oh, I think it might be a glitch with my uh, my propulsion cannon when I use my jump jet. Maybe I don't know. That was weird. I have no idea what just happened. Um, I'm gonna take the upgrades out really quickly because there's something that I forgot to show you guys. Um, if I can actually access it. What the fuck is happening? This is so buggy. It's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Uh, when you're, just by default, when you're inside of the exosuit, you actually have this little animation where you can punch things. Wah, wah. What that does is usually it mines things, but I think you can kill stuff with it as well. Oh, I just punched a fish. Punched it in the mouth. Yep, it's done. It's dead. He's afraid of me. He should be. He's dead now. All right, well, that was fun, punching some fish out. I've already gotten two glitches to happen. I didn't even mean to, so uh, I, I already love it. So what I wanted to see was the grappling hook first. So what it is, it's this little ball. Yeah, you just grapple out, a little rope happens. It's kind of weird looking, actually. And with that, you can kind of like use attack on Titan tactics almost, like just swing yourself, give some, uh, give some momentum going. Wow, a little bit hard to control still. It's, I mean, it's all—all all of this stuff is just a beta experimental. That's the whole point of uh, of this mode. But also the propulsion cannon, if it'll activate, maybe I have to switch out. Oh, there we go. It can move stuff and shoot it. Nice. So yeah, you pick things up with it, and then you say, "Oh, I don't actually want that anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> I want those jump jets to launch me up in the sky again." That was freaking amazing. I don't know how I did that. So yeah, you just kind of swing, swing from rock to rock with this thing. It's kind of fun, actually. If you don't have the upgraded jump jet, I could see the the merit in this, actually. Can I launch, can I grab one of those guys? They're little underbellies. Come on, snatch him. Yeah. Oh, right into his grundle. I didn't want, I didn't want that at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I knock him unconscious or? I think I might have. I'm running away. Damn, this exosuit's pretty cool. I didn't give it much of a try that first time, but now that I'm trying it out, this thing's freaking sweet. Really excited for when this comes to the full release of the game. Well, the early access version of the... There's experimental, early access, and then the full release isn't even out yet, so that's a whole nother story. What I meant was early access version of the game. Oh my God, you can launch fish. Little tiny fish, watch this. Oh my God. Come here. Oh, wait, no, where is he? 
Oh, hey there, little fish guys. You having fun out here in the park? Having fun with your little family? Here, come here for a second. I need to tell you something. Holy shit. It's out of here. It's gone. It's disappeared. It's over. I have no idea how I got that jump jet glitch to happen. I've been, I'm trying to replicate it. Like, I think it had something to do with my, my propulsion cannon, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Maybe if I just launch straight up and then use my grappling hook and a like skybox, hit the skybox. Nope, nope, it doesn't. I have no idea. Um, I, I wish I could replicate it, but I can't. All right, guys, and we're also back in the Lost River biome. Um, they, they updated it just slightly, like right after I did my video on it, um, they updated it slightly. So what you can see is that they've updated the bones. So they actually look like bones instead of just little white spires, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna check out to see if there's any sort of uh, different, maybe skull or any sort of, I think there's extra plant life too is what I read. Um, so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see if I could, if I missed something. And there we go. We got little, little uh, pieces of plants there. They look like little, um, just a, just a group of, uh, they look like dicks. Oh yeah, look at all these plants. Some of them are probably in spots they're not supposed to be. Because, I mean, these things are floating. Maybe they're supposed to be floating. Those kind of look like the models that they're uh, modeling the, those floating islands after um, that aren't actually in the game yet. Or maybe that's just plants. I don't know. I've been looking at some drafts of this game, and uh, that looked like something that I've already seen. Let's see if I can attack on Titan this thing. Get there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's way better of a model than what they had before. Like, this actually looks like it could be bones or wood. Um, probably bones, though. All right, let's check out the skull here. Um, you know what? It kind of looks like it's just the same, to be honest. I think it might be. Yeah, they didn't update it. It looks it looks the same, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's fine, because it looked awesome before, so I didn't really expect a change for that. And supposedly you guys were telling me in the comments that that's going to be what the size of the sea emperor or sea dragon's going to be. And that's absolutely terrifying to me. Like, I don't know if, you know, in, the, in my survival game mode, I get way more scared in that game mode for some reason. just Maybe it's just because the stakes are at hand, um, but I don't know if I'd be able to come down here knowing that something that large was was down here as well with me, gonna kill me. So I'm going down a little bit deeper into this little side cavern. I don't know if I explored it before in my past video. So this is actually kind of new to me. Can't really see too well. Uh, hopefully something will brighten up the area. Also this, uh, this little grappling hook is really nice for just traveling, I guess. Just land travel. So I ditched my uh, I ditched my exosuit just for a little bit because it's it's still kind of slow even with all those additions to it. Um, I'm trolling through all these little tunnels that I'm going to assume that huge creature probably dug and then died. Maybe it was just too tired, didn't have enough caloric intake, but uh, anyways, I'm going to explore around here. Supposedly there's a tree. Supposedly there's a lost river tree. I don't know if I'm even going the right way for it. Probably not. As far as story progression goes as well, I'm going to assume that the um, the sea emperors, they they come from the lava. That's like their home. Um, and it dug up and then maybe it got too cold and it like didn't didn't like what it saw and died over there. Possibly. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Popped out of nowhere. Uh, is that? Oh, it's gone. I think that was it, though. Well, that's one tree. Cool. Let's look around. I don't know what biome I'm at, actually. Let's check to see. It's, um, shoot. What is it? I'm in the mushroom forest. Okay. So I guess the lost river trees happen in the mushroom forest. That's an interesting take on location. Hey, little crab squid. How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. I'm going to run you over now. Bitch. Whoa, holy crap. That kind of actually scared me. I thought it was like a monster at first. Whoa, okay. That is a huge tree. Holy crap. Oh, uh, uh, it's back. All right. That looks pretty cool. It almost looks like it's the same texture as the bone of that animal, though, is the problem with me. Uh, still pretty cool, though. All right. Well, that's, that's all that I read were the updates for the Lost River. Now I know. Now I've seen it in person. Still needs uh, just a tiny bit of work. Just a little bit there. Yep, just a little bit. But anyways, other than that, super duper cool. Um, can't wait for these to be implemented in the actual game along with the Sea Emperors of the actual size. That's gonna be freaking intense. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. If you enjoy Subnautica, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. 
Um, I'm really, really stoked uh, to play this in the actual game where I have more stakes on the line. But uh, thanks, guys, again for watching, and remember to keep having fun. Bye-bye. Oh, God, it's, it's killing it. I must save it. In the middle of the night, I've been walking in my sleep. How deep is your love? It's 10,000 meters.